Good morning, how you doing? This is Chuck English, Spring Piss and Rifle Fever. Today I'm going to be talking to you about like part two of manufacturers are lying to you about the gas ram, just the facts. I'd made a video <clears throat> in the winter time and I was talking about that the gas ram system does not work perfectly fine in cold weather. And in the video I said that uh, the gas ram does not function as well because the air is colder and when it's colder it contracts or shrinks. Um, there was a person whose channel is the frog and he said he didn't get it because cold air is denser so it means it should be harder, more compact. So I brought the silliest example I could think of, and this is not making fun of the frog uh, fellow. So I'm going to just demonstrate my little example really quickly. And with most men out there, I'm guessing a lot of you do what I do when your garbage can is full. When it's full, and we've got a garbage can right here, when it's full and it's like full of just like uh, paper towels and stuff like that. You're like, my goodness, I could put a whole lot more in there. So what do you do? So you get up and you put your old foot in the garbage can and you pack down those paper towels. So what just happened? It made it more dense. So more dense, mean, all it means is pack tighter together. So when air is cold, it, of course, it's more dense. It's packed together. The molecules are not excited and stirred up and expanded. Uh, that is about the best way I could think. I will leave a link to that video also. Uh, <clears throat> and somebody had mentioned in one of the comment, comments recently, I think it was in one of the community posts that I've been doing lately, that he wanted to get the best um, gamo air rifle that he could get. And he talked about that there was an air rifle at one time. I think he said it was a Beeman that shot through three-quarter inch plywood. Now that's possible depending on how rotten the plywood is. A good, fresh, excuse me, piece of plywood from the lumber yard is going to be a lot harder and a lot harder to shoot through. I have shot through some plywood before for sure with my Walter Paris and my uh, RWS 350 Antec Classic. So, But I want to get back to a person that had asked the question about what kind of gamo that they thought would be the best. Now the best does not always necessarily mean the most powerful. Uh, and I'm going to talk about best bang for your buck. I believe the gamo swarm Maxim Gen 2 or Gen 3 is going to be the best bang for your buck price wise, accuracy wise with the barrel, with the power system. You don't need the Gamma Magnum Swarm Gen 3i. You don't need that much power if you want it, fine. What you're going to get is a lot harder cocking action. So when you go to cock that rifle, it's going to be way harder to cock than this one. I can decock this. I took out the bear trap. Uh, it's going to be way harder to decock your air rifle. Uh, it's going to be a lot longer. And when you go to pull it up, I don't know if the stock area is longer, but it's going to be bigger. Everything is going to be bigger. It's going to be a little harder to handle. Uh, I said in the comments, I said this will blow straight through a squirrel's head. It has about 15, 16 foot-pounds of energy to depending on what temperature I'm shooting it in. That affects the gas ram, of course, uh, like I had said before. Uh, so, I this this is built on the... All those Gamma Swarms are built on this platform. This is my Gamma Hornet Maxim. So, I think if I was going to buy another Gamma, I would maybe buy one of those. Also, with a stronger power plant comes... The potential of more destruction to your scope. This is my Hammers 3 to 9 by 40 AO scope. 
and it has been lasting a long time. It's been on the Hatson 125, 25 caliber when I had that rifle. So that works, um, works really well. Wanted to share with you again more about the Gamo stuff. Um, I'm not like a so-called fanboy. I want to try all rifles. Uh, I still have that Hatson 95 on back order. I want to show you once again, I've shown before in other videos, I've never had this barrel come loose once. Uh, if you're suffering from accuracy and your barrel falls when you let go, you need to take it out of the stock if it needs to come out of the stock, and you need to tighten the bolts that are in between here. They made this in a way, however they did it, that it doesn't come loose. Yes, it is polymer. Everything in there is polymer. It looks really cheap and cheesy, but you know what? I've put thousands of pellets through this thing, and it doesn't stop. It keeps on going. The breech, if I can get my face out of the way, maybe it'll focus good here. I can't tell, but that is chamfered right from the factory very well. Gamo has been known for putting out good barrels now. That's super important. The Gamo Swarm um, Bone Collector. That's definitely a nice looking rifle. I believe this one, if it had the Swarm mechanism on it, would be just as deadly as that one. The difference between 16, 15, 16 foot pounds of energy and 20, 21 foot pounds of energy is not a whole lot of difference when you shoot into a gel block. I did a video on that also. So what matters is accuracy. This one will kill a squirrel or a rabbit just as well as the Gamo Magnum. The Gamo Swarm Bone Collector Gen 3. This one will kill them as just as well as the Gamo Fusion Mach 1 22 caliber. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You don't need all of that super magnum kick in here. So you don't really gain a whole lot by going up in gigantic power range. My favorite power range is right around 15 to 17 foot-pounds of energy. It's smooth. It works good. It doesn't dest destroy your scopes so badly. Uh, so... You know what, I think that covers everything I want to say about this. So I'll leave, I'll leave a link below about that other video about the manufacturers lying to you. I'm calling this part two. Uh, I hope you all have a great uh, Easter celebration. I call it Resurrection Day coming up tomorrow where our Lord and Savior arose from the dead. God bless you all. You have a great weekend.